Praise the Lord, we have a graduation today. That song always wears me out. Do you know, in all seriousness, in all seriousness, there ain't no graves gonna hold me down. I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. So we're gonna have a graduation, then we're gonna have a short little, uh, short little introdu introduction of a trailer to a movie. So I want Nate Pearl to come on up and I want his family to come up with him. There they come. Come on up, brother. How are you doing, man? I'm proud of you, man. Thank you. Job. Are you ready for this? I think so. I think so. All right, they're coming up. See if the old guy here can make it up the stairs. <laughs> hey, come on, come on, Jim. Hey, Gary. Okay, my friend. Let's hear the gospel. All right, let's, let's preach it. <laughs> um, so, St. Gary. Love you. Mr. Van. Congratulations. Thank you. You're welcome. Cousin Victor right here. Good right to on. see you. Long time no see. Good to see you. Brother Nick. Little big brother Nick. Boy. My brother Joel. The family, I guess. Um, Don. That's like bro through here. Karen. Joel's wife. Lena. Sister. And my mom and dad right here. Jim and Rosa. see a mass of beautiful faces from the pastor's point of view. <laughs> Different. Talk right now. Check, check, one, two. There you go. <laughs> so, my, my, my dad showed me this uh, article that kind of hit home, and that kind of uh, applies to me and anxieties and worries and nervousness. I'm a big guy, I shouldn't be worried but I didn't think this could apply to a lot of us. And so I saw this. It says, when we, when we lose our sight of the truth that God is in complete control of all things, we tend to grow anxious. Feeling worried comes from focusing on ourselves, a perspective that can make us feel alone, forgotten, and even victimized in this world. Worry moves us to defend ourselves, to seek refuge, in our own devices and to forfeit the will of God according to the dictates of lesser fears. The sages say it is not permitted to worry. To worry is a sin. Only one sort of worry is permissible, to worry because of one worries. We should worry that we worry because worrying indicates our hardness of heart and unbelief. God's name, Yahweh, means presence, breath, life, and love. So why be anxious for tomorrow? We really only have this moment. But this moment is entirely sufficient when we walk in the light of God and seek to know him in all our ways. So. Very true. So that really hit home for me, entering this ranch. It's hard for me. I'm, I admit it, I'm a, I'm a lush. I'm, I was a big drunk. Alcohol and me had a big love-hate relationship. So, this is definitely a miracle. Um, me, I've wrecked cars, took out the side of a power line. Um, uh, one of my cars uh, almost, I, after hitting the power line, it stopped like 10 feet before a 50 foot cliff. So, almost died there again. Coming back from Spokane, totaled my Volkswagen Jetta 10 years ago, didn't even recognize the car. So God's definitely has it out for me. So, uh, <laughs> anyways, even the police at Schaefer's towing for one of my cars were shocked I'm still, 
or the Schaefer's towing, and the cops were all shocked I was still alive. So with that being said, God's grace and love brought me to this program, and I believe uh, we were all chosen to be here. So right. it's been a great program, great guys, fellowship, the word, music. So I give all the glory and praise to God. Praise be to him. And yeah, thank you, Pastor Tim. Been a big inspiration, as well as my family. Sorry, Mom and Dad. I, I kind of been a disgrace, a filthy, crepid drunk for so long. And we do have a great God. His grace. So, yeah. Thank you, Joel. Everyone. I think I'm done. <laughs> Yeah, I got this for you. It's all done for you. Praise well, the Lord. Do we still have a Kinko's copy? I can go laminate it or something. <laughs> That's cool. That is a nice one. Congregation, if you'll stand with me, we're going to pray for him. There's a lot of people that have been praying for Nate for a long time. First time you brought him up, we need to pray for, pray for Nate. And we did. God answers prayer. You're right. We have a great God. He is fabulous. He could do all, all things, whatever he wants to do. And he reached down because there's so many people that love you and because he loves you. So he's got plans for your life, Nate. Amen. So I believe it. You bet. Yeah. Just follow him. In the name of Jesus, I just pray, Lord God, that you'll instill in him, Lord God, a heart that is so full of love and compassion. I pray, Lord, that he'll be able to take it to the masses. I pray, Father, that alcohol, Lord God, would be completely shed off of him once, I mean, gone in the name of Jesus. I pray, Father, that you would allow him, Lord God, to not just live a sober life, that's, a, that's very scriptural, but a life that is full of righteousness, a life that is full of holiness, leading after you. Let him be the bride of Christ. I pray, Father, that he would lead many to salvation, that his life, Lord God, would be full of real life that comes from you. I pray from the top of his head to the bottom of his feet, Lord God, you will give him strength, and that strength to come from the joy of the Lord. And so, Father, right now, Lord God, instill in him the gifts necessary, Lord God, to perform that which you have called him to do. And, Father, we ask this, all of us, in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen, amen, amen. Love you, bro.